very much for joining my channel and uh, in today's video i'm going to explain you about how to set up a telex zip trunk in 3cx 3cx no longer supporting uh, our telex out of zip trunk provider previously uh, it was listed under uh, worldwide but now uh, they are removed it from here so you cannot add it simply um, by going into the worldwide anymore so you have to follow some extra steps to that that links here and to use a that links as the source because uh, simply as a front if you go to generic and uh, just uh, use a credential so you can uh, still add that links for calling but uh, as must be will not be spotted in that case so in order to add SMS feature uh, to 3CX using Telex, please follow the instruction of the video. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, you have to search in Google for uh, Telex configuration with 3CX version 18. And once you reach there, uh, you have to download this file. You have to click here. Uh, we'll open a link like this. Just download it. I've done that already, so just use uh, so here is a file and let's close it down and then go back to zip trunk sorry then go back to import provider upload select Delax and whatever your number is so for example it's not correct us so if you add it like this uh, you need to uh, you have SMS option here and you cannot simply use your authentication ID and password and just leave it. Uh, also, in our case, for the moment, let's uh, for now because we don't have any zip trunk correct, so we just leave it as uh, IP base. And then here, this is a link that you copy or apps. It's not that. Uh -uh. Now, three six five. Go to telex. Go to messaging. Uh, programmable messages. And Swift for a couple of seconds. I already have a lot of profiles, but let's create one new. We'll give it a name as 3CX. This is a this is the place where you put in that webhook link from 3CX, and then just save it. All right. So once this has been done, you also need a KPI we can do key. Set this up into. Well, let's use any of these. For example, let's use this one, and go back to. 3CX just paste key here and yeah that's done so yeah as soon as you see you do that then you have to assign this number for example well, let's do this number assign it to an extension and now this user will automatically have a feature to send and receive SMS uh, using that step run but you need one more thing that I'm using a free version my subscription is already expired but you have to have at least a professional license like this is a this is a free one i think so yeah this is a free but you have to get a professional license from 36 to use this feature this is not a free feature you can still uh enjoy it for a couple of months because 36 is offering a free trial for for i believe this two two months yeah but uh after that you have to buy this from 36 and so this is a simple tutorial. If you have any questions or anything that you don't understand, just just uh, come to my uh, comments, chip in, part me, create them. I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you very much for watching my video. And if you like it, just uh, subscribe my channel. I'll write down your comments, whatever you need, whatever you want me to. I'll make a video on it. And, and uh, let's 